Hello, and welcome to this, a new episode of JRPG Historia Future Perfect. I'm your humble, uh, time captain. I'm Evan. <laughs> I, I'm joined by Kyle Locke. Virtual. Virtual problem. Not virtual. Not virtual. Just a stowaway. Yep. And that's... as always, by Space <laughs> Quartermaster, Ryan McGinley. The not so humble. We got a great show for you guys tonight. <laughs> I'm Evan, the best. Evan is apparently talking a little bit slower than usual. Having some trouble there. I, I had a know. stroke. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. First world problems. Yeah. <laughs> First. <laughs> <laughs> I had a stroke. Oh yeah. Well, were you shot to death? First yeah. <laughs> world problems. Are you a child soldier in a third world country, Evan? First world problems. Did you have a stroke while you were starving to death? No, I didn't think so. Oh, God. Well, at All least right. I got the title of the episode out of the way early. <laughs> first world problems. Maybe I'll make it hashtag first world problems. There you go. Okay. Hashtag feels just so that gets pissed so, off. Yeah. So now that we're all rested, we want to head over to Moonstone Mountain. Okay, where... That's right, we rested up. It was a good time. <laughs> yeah. You, you were so flustered. I... It was a bad situation. It, yeah, it was. I was I was in a bad way. We did a lot of crazy shit running on no rest. Yeah. It, again, I... Very surprising. So, we, well we, done. We won that fight. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't likely. It really wasn't. <laughs> I mean, it, it was as unlikely that they would get down to 40 health as it was that we would get down to 20, to be fair. Yeah. There was unlikeliness going all around, but, you know, I think we acquitted ourselves admirably, and I think we really fought the good fight with that one. Now I yep. think we're ready to get another stone. Yep, let's do this. Okay. So, um, when you get into your ship, you'll want to head, if I remember correctly west and then when you hit the wall that gravel or that rock wall you want to head south okay i will say this up front about uh i like skies of arcadia a great deal i think this this while i enjoy flying the ship i think some of the navigation is a little confusing <laughs> i think maybe more so than it needs to be just like i don't maybe there are places to go where they tell me exactly what direction everything is Mm -hmm. But I feel like I've I've burned a lot of time just not really knowing where to go on this world map. Right. Um, Fair enough. If there was, you know, <clears throat> if they re-released Skies of Arcadia, they could just put a little little tick on the compass, point like in a, the right direction. Just make it a GPS system, basically. Yeah, why not? Who the fuck yeah. cares? It's Sky Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Skies of Arcadia Two really just takes place in the distant future of Skies of Arcadia, so they actually have GPS systems and. Yeah. More like a steampunk style. Yeah, why not? There's a GPS okay. in L.A. Noir. <laughs> why couldn't there be one in this Sky Pirate fantasy land? All Fantastic right. tech demo right there. LA Noir. God damn Fant it. Have we talked about this on JRPG? History no, absolutely not. Perfect? Why would it? It's not a no. JRPG. Okay. Uh, three years ago... <laughs> God damn it. When I... Started, I started this website. It's called Aeronaut Found. You can visit it at aeronautfound.org. Or yeah, very, 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 very tiny little little organization. Yeah. You know. Uh, or aeronautfound.com. We own that as well. It all goes the same place. Uh, Ryan, on an early podcast or an interaction with me, said he really disliked L.A. Noir because he thought it was just a tech demo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this really pissed me off because because it's fine if oh, you don't like there's moonstone mountain right there oh cool it's fine if you don't like a video game i'm not gonna stop you right i like i happen to like ellie noir a lot if he didn't that's fine but to call it a tech <clears throat> demo is asinine <laughs> it's a very yeah. it's a very stupid opinion so he content he would like pepper this in like you know years later whenever Ellie Noir was brought up he's like oh it's the best tech demo I've ever played just to, <laughs> just to get under my skin and a couple months ago he revealed that it, he fucked with me the whole time and he actually likes Ellie Noir oh, he's been playing well a three done. year long con about something so insubstantial 
<laughs> it's not even well, like uh, I talk or think about L.A. Noir that much. That's great. I was happy with it. It was it was the worst. It was it was at the end of our game of the year podcast. Yeah. No, apparently I've done something to get everyone on the side of we need to fuck with Evan. <laughs> I don't know what it was that I did. <laughs> well, I'm cool. I'm I'm down with that. So but, Ryan, but... after we're done recording here, oh, God damn it. we'll start working on something. <laughs> oh, I'm already. I mean, I already have that whole You're... thing where I want to do something in May that he's not allowed to know about. I don't right, understand. Right. I don't understand. I don't understand how this got started. <laughs> It's just really easy to fuck with you, dude. <laughs> is it? Is that the thing? No, I, I... Well, the reason I did it is because early on you, um... Well, not I, even so much early on. Like, I, I ran with the joke for a little while. I was gonna come out, like, with it a lot sooner. <laughs> oh, you were gonna come out? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna come out a lot come sooner. Uh -huh. Um, but we were watching a Community episode. Yeah. Where, Episode um, of the television show Community on NBC is Thursdays at 8. Mm -hmm. Created wow. by Dan Harmon. Yeah. Wow. Um, I hey, sorry. This episode is is sponsored by Community on NBC yeah, sure. Thursdays at eight. And I forget what the episode's called. It's um, it's the conspiracy theory okay, one. Okay. Sure. Yeah. And there's a moment where the dean keeps getting something like something keeps happening to the dean where he keeps getting really like flustered. It's the whole. And... It's the whole thing. Is there's a. Uh, layers upon it's like the sting at the end there's layers upon layers of of like lies and deceit and stuff right and he <laughs> keeps getting like more and more flustered and like upset and everything uh -huh. and evan said something along the lines of like he likes when people get so like exas exacerbated like that yeah so when he said uh, that i was like let's 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 just well, keep this only more thing going yeah that's a awesome. that's a sadistic okay whatever well done whatever i don't know what i did to deserve it so kyle after we're done this recording i'll tell you about my uh my idea oh, God, for don't right. tell him god damn it sounds good to me also why is drachma with us on our fun adventuring adventure <laughs> he's, he's got to keep ass. the fun like cap uh -oh. you can't just have oh, all shit it's alfonso and, and deloco. deloco jesus christ i thought i killed deloco nope He's still alive. I thought he died of shock. So outside of this, are you guys, are any of you guys playing some RPGs outside of this game? I have been playing a lot of Bravely Default, actually. How how is that? I hear very good things about that one. I I like it a lot. The um the one negative I have towards it is the story, probably. Mm -hmm. But it, um while the story is so throwaway, the characters are I still think very well written and very like outside of the genre norms that okay. I I can still like get behind the story because I still get to see these characters interact. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know much about it. Does that one I I, I think I recall people saying that it's like very kind of more of a retro style RPG. Yeah. Um it's a spirit it's a spiritual successor to um one of the I forget what Final Fantasy it's um I think it's like the four I forget what it's called. It's like the Four Knights or the Four Heroes or something, <laughs> Final Fantasy. The Warriors of Light. Four Warriors of Light, yeah. Um, and that was supposed to be, like, harken back to old Final Fantasy games, and then they made this, which is the spiritual successor, and it's it very much goes with that old feel. That's cool. Which, which I like, actually. It is... It is um... It does have a sort of old feel to it. It's a lot more. There's a lot more polish to it. Than, like, oh, absolutely, than, uh, absolutely. It, 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 in terms of gameplay, I think it's probably closer to the 16-bit era of JRPGs than the 8-bit era, which is really okay. the era of the the sort of warriors of light motif. Right, right. That it uses for its story. Um, you know, there's a lot of, like, there's earth and wind and fire and crystals and shit, you know. Right. <laughs> How it okay. goes. Fair enough. Uh, but it, it yeah. seems pretty cool. I uh, I played some Final Fantasy <clears throat> 13 Lightning Returns. Oh, God. That's a, How was that? That's a dreadful... I haven't beaten it. <laughs> I'm going to review it whenever I can beat it, but I stopped playing it because I became worried that it's too difficult. 
uh, and that I can't beat it, and I'm just gonna, the time's gonna expire, and I'm gonna get a bad ending and have to play it over again. Uh, oh, okay. I really don't want to do that, but it'll happen yeah. sooner or later. Uh, that game does not look all that great. <laughs> no, it's the worst one of those, those Final Ooh. Fantasy 13 games, which is, if you That's know my something. opinion <laughs> on the Final Fantasy 13 games, um, yeah. Yeah, that's saying something. It's not, not the best. Right. I'm not going to say it's the worst. <laughs> no, I'll say it's the worst. It's the worst. But you did get to really, like, name your bird a really cool name, and then it implements Yeah, that's right. I named, my, I named my Chocobo ship bird. I think I talked about that <laughs> on a previous episode. But they let you, you get a white Chocobo, and they let you name it. And I named it ship bird. So now I feed it, and it's like, ship bird is feeling full. <laughs> Good. Full of shit. Okay, I'm gonna say that I don't want to step on the X and instead want to step on the O. Okay. Nope, that was wrong. <laughs> okay, now I'm in. Now it's X's. Donkey Kong Country. Sure. Yeah, you want to step on the X's. Um. <laughs> I love seeing that animation of him like <sighs> launched out of it. God damn it. But yeah, yeah. I don't have a. That's 3DS, right? For default. default. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and um, yeah, so is Bravely Second, which I think will be coming out sometime. That's such a uh, good name for a sequel. Bravely Second. <laughs> to, to Bravely Default. Because um, apparently the Bravely Second move that is in Bravely Default wasn't actually in the original Bravely Default. The <laughs> Bravely Default that released in America is called... um. Actually, let me look up the title, because it's really weird. Um, It was a basically updated version that released in Japan alongside the release in America. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called For the Sequel. Yeah, yeah, Bravely Default For the Sequel <laughs> is nice. the is basically like the Bravely Default like second edition. It's not even the sequel. That's good it's stuff. Just... That's good stuff. I to be clear, the reason it's called Bravely Default is because there are two moves in the game called Brave and Default. So they were <laughs> just like, oh, okay, Bravely Default, why not? There's also nice. a, a move called the uh, the second. <laughs> you can use a second move in that <laughs> combat. So I guess that's the logic behind Bravely Second, in addition to being sort of a fun punny title, you know. I like that. That sounds like it. it's kind of self-aware style. Yeah, uh, I don't know that you can name a game Bravely Default and not <laughs> not be self. You're either right, the dumbest right. person alive, or you're being right. self-aware. You know. No, I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, because it has absolutely nothing to do with the story in any way. <laughs> yeah, there's no like. I we must default br with. Bravery. <laughs> bravely. Never, I don't we must think they ever. Bravely. Yeah, I don't think they ever say that. No, no, they do. Uh, maybe that's the end. Maybe yeah, the maybe last. that's the last line. <laughs> we must default bravely. There, Smash there is some really great character stuff though that like goes against the yeah. norms. Where like there's this like your usual character who's like the ladies man, always trying to pick up chicks and everything, but everybody just acknowledges the fact that he's a scumbag. <laughs> And, like, nobody wants him in the party. <laughs> That's true. When that character's introduced, sort of the main... Anya, oh, like, the main character of the game is like, I, re I am really uncomfortable with him. Yeah, <laughs> she turns to the guy who you start as and goes like, are you... Are you sure we have to bring him with us? And you're like... And he has, the, he has this, like, nut diary that can basically predict the future. Yeah. Uh. Um... And you're, the whole time you're like, well, I mean, he has this thing that we really need. <laughs> but <laughs> I see where you're coming from. Yeah, it's, it's fun. I, have, I wish I had more time to play it. But uh, I've also been playing a lot of Pandora's Tower and uh, Pokemon Yellow. Yeah. I, I've, I've noticed. Uh, <laughs> They have been. Those are the other. You should check out those videos if you're watching this playthrough. No, you shouldn't. They've you got should different casts, sort of. I'd like to apologize again for my mistake on the most recent Pokemon Yellow God episode. Damn it, Ryan! What'd you do? So I don't even know that that episode's gonna go up before this one. <laughs> let's just okay. Let's say that it does. Okay. So, okay. Um. Oh, I'll be. I'll be vague about it anyway. Mm -hmm. Um. Evan needed a Pokemon to 
Evan needed Evan needed a Pokemon to level up to a certain point. And okay. um, I, I maybe slipped him some misinformation that is going to make <laughs> us have another episode. That's yeah, funny. yeah, it was great. When I heard the misinformation, I ended the episode. It yeah. wasn't even a great natural <laughs> ending point. I just ended it. That's yeah, great. you. Were, he was very frustrated. He said, "Ryan, we're done." <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, all right. Oh man, new, new jam. Let's say in terms of like uh, RPGs, I really haven't had the time to play any. The only one that I've been playing has been on my phone. And I've talked about it a little bit in one of our Facebook groups. And it's called Brave Frontier. Uh huh. Um, but God it plays damn. like in what? Sorry. <laughs> Keep continue. Oh, you messed up. <laughs> it plays like a like old Final Fantasy like six. It's on a little sixteen bit style game with uh, sixteen bit sprite or sprites. Um, but it uh, the storyline, it's kind of like barely default. Like it's it's really not very important it's very at all. Basic. It's, yeah, it's very basic. But um, the combat's really good in it. Um, and it, it it kind of has like a Final Fantasy seven. Um, feel to how the combat plays because you get what's called a brave burst which is like a burst limit okay um uh, and it'll let you like do special moves and stuff like that hmm. um and you can you can summon monsters and uh and characters by using gems or um honor points that you get from okay, which networking. one of those do you buy with real money <laughs> gems all right <laughs> yes there there is obviously a a, a way that you have, you can buy um, items with real money. Right. Um, you also get gems by beating beating uh, entire areas. You also get them by leveling up. Um, so it's never like it never feels like you need to buy them, which is nice. Sure. Uh, so, but you can use gems to. You can also use gems to unlock and summon rare creatures that will give you higher uh, abilities. And you can also do what's called fusing. Where like you can take a character, take some monsters, creatures, and other characters, and fuse them into each other so that they become like a stronger version of speaking, that character. Uh, speaking of fusing, Kyle, what you should play Persona Three? <laughs> it's it's coming. Don't if worry. If you want, if you want to fuse, <laughs> you will find no series better suited to your desires than Persona. It's okay. it's Fuse City. It's fusing all the time. Ryan, right. back me up. Well, I mean, Shin Megami Tensei 4 might be. Well, sure. Yeah. I, I'd say there's ad, as much fusing. I, I mean, just in terms of, like, which has the better fusing, I'd say okay, Shin Megami sure. Tensei Don't, 4 is Stop mucking up the fucking message here, Ryan. We're I, trying I to was, say... but Yeah, no. Persona 4 is obviously the best game of this generation. <laughs> right. I mean, according to us. Which, I mean, we're objectively right. Yeah. I why, will say. Why else would we say that? I will say the playthrough for Persona is coming. It's okay. it's it's not too far away that Good. we're gonna start that. Good. So you should do it on this channel. Fuck fuck your plan. I'm I'm still I'm still figuring that out. So there is a home for you here if you wish to do that. I know. It would I also know. help me out because Persona's really long and you could knock out a lot of episodes in one <laughs> sitting, and then I don't have to worry about posting new episodes. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be a good fit, I think. And uh, people would enjoy it. It's a very fun game to watch, you know. You make decisions about who to date. I mean, it's... You will have those episodes where it's just fusing. Ah, but... oh, don't worry about that. But yeah, you can do fusing, and you can also inv evolve your units, too. And It's, it's oh, so a it's fun Pokemon. little mobile game. Yeah. What? Yeah, it's, it's it's got a lot of elements of just, like, all the different genres and different styles of RPGs kind of put into one. Mm. But it's a lot of fun, and uh, cool. You can you can do. It, it, I, I'm surprisingly addicted to it for something that's such like just a mobile RPG game. So, right, it's definitely worth worth trying out. I am kind of chewing up these enemies right now. Yeah, you're doing pretty there was, well. There was definitely a fuck you, Brock. Huh? There was definitely a period there where I felt pretty <laughs> unsure of myself. <laughs> Right. I always feel unsure of you, Evan. Where, yeah, yeah. If that's yeah. any help. That is a lot of help. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Anytime. Before I was just I was teetering, and now I'm. Now it's you, a sure thing. You pushed me into the acid pool. Uh, <laughs> it's a Mortal Kombat fatality, apparently. Now. 
it's like the Mortal Kombat fatality of metaphors, yeah. Okay, alright, fair enough. Uh, Mortal Kombat fatality of metaphors is a good episode title, too. Fuck. <laughs> We're just a little it's too a on point one. today, guys. <laughs> really on the ball. Yeah. Alright. Let's say, uh... Did you feed all the champs that you've been picking up to, uh, Cupel? I think so. I'll okay. double check. Um... How you liking this uh, dungeon with all the different areas and places that you can get lost in? <laughs> you know, I've sort of been doing it on autopilot, so <laughs> it's hard so, to... Uh, right. I mean, where it counts, it, when there's been a, you know, a place where I can fall down. I've Like right here? <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's not autopilot, but just sort of the dungeon navigation has been pretty autopilot thus far. Uh, it seems neat, though. seems like a... I'm, I'm confused as to which one of these to go on. Um, I'm trying to remember. All right, so let's I see went here. to the right before, and that didn't work. Okay, I want to say. Oh, here's here's an easy way of doing it. What? So go over to where you can go into first person and look down wherever there isn't uh, one of those rail car things. That's uh -huh. where. Aha! They actually gave me that advice, but I didn't think to use it. <laughs> uh, it's sort of an apt well description done. of the way these playthroughs normally go. Not paying attention. Yep. Yeah. Hard to talk and pay attention, you know. I, I'm excited to do my. Now that I've been like planning it out, I'm excited to see how I fare because Evan keeps saying, "Oh well, let's see how you fare when you're uh talking." You're gonna and fall the fuck. You're gonna fall the fuck apart, man. <laughs> to be yeah. honest, yeah. It, people think it's so fucking easy to do it's commentary and play games really at the same so... time. It's very different. <laughs> like there's and you even... won't notice. You won't notice until someone points it out to you. Yeah. Then you'll be like, man, I'm really fucking up. <laughs> uh, the first game that I do, I don't know if I will because I've played it before. No, you still will. <laughs> mm, maybe. We'll I, see. I would it's also not going to matter so much. but Yeah. yeah. Need, the, need that fucking cham. Where's it at? Where's it at? Okay. I think it's on oh, the platform. Wait. I think that's the trade off I think it might, here. it might be on the other side, actually, of it. Okay. So when you, like, go over to that side, depending on where you're... No. Yeah. No. No, it's... No? I think no, it's, it's just there? on the platform. I don't think it's on the platform. They wouldn't do that, I don't I think. Don't, I mean, there's nowhere else for me to hit the button, Kyle. <laughs> I think... No, you're just not doing a good enough job, dude. No, I you mean, gotta fair. search more. That's fair. Be more efficient, Evan. Jesus. Yeah, seriously. I'm trying my best, man. Yeah. Fucking new beer. Ah. Uh, Who made him time captain? Jesus Christ. Yeah, me. seriously. I made me time captain. I'm the creative Great job, lead though, on that this choice. series. Thank you. <laughs> Real I'm good choice on that one, Evan. Jeez. Executive producer. Kyle, we should start a mutiny. Don't tell Evan, though. We should start our own. We should just... Yeah, take over the channel. Hey, you or were start whispering into your microphone, so I couldn't should, hear what you said. Should, what what did should, you we say? We should do a we should do a JRPG future historia perfect perfection. And, and our first series will you be you playing the uh, Persona games? Okay, okay. I'm not gonna right. I'm not gonna pretend I don't hear this anymore. That would be a travesty. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> really, one that of the only it. one of the only things I live for is getting other people into Persona. So. <laughs> I really we could take away his life essence we really cannot yeah. Yeah, wouldn't, so just, wouldn't be just, too we can hard, destroy his life but... this way <laughs> be, be easier than you think have you ever just ruined a man completely from the inside out <laughs> you're about to <laughs> if you, you haven't you, get better strap yet, in better yet ryan we'll just go over to my channel we'll start we'll just record just you, you and me will record persona we'll get clint in we'll have we'll just... oh, don't do that <laughs> Don't get Clint instead of me. Really think about this. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just gonna go for it. Nope. <laughs> Didn't work. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a long trek to get back up here. It really isn't. It's like two minutes. It just seems like forever when we're having to listen to you. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus I don't Christ! <laughs> It's got hostile fast. I'm sorry I'm not doing a good enough job, you guys. Be better, Evan. <laughs> I'm, Jesus. I'm just trying. the worst. 
I thought I was moving through this game at a pretty admirable pace, you know, but <laughs> obviously I'm You're just messing up, man. Mistaken. Just... <laughs> oh boy. It's funny because I'm a failure. I didn't say that one. <laughs> I will. It's funny. <laughs> failure. Oh, thank you, Ryan. You're welcome. That's why you brought me here for every episode. Oh my gosh. <laughs> for that one moment. Yep. Well, and many more moments like it down the road, yeah, I like, assume. Well, of course. I'm here to I'm here to keep Evan realistic about his uh his life. Yeah. His life quality. If I ever if I ever get too full of myself or even hey, Evan, marginally shit. satisfied. You were literally born with shit in your mouth. That's true, I haven't told that story here. I was born with shit in my lungs. They had to vacuum out the shit. So Evan was literally born full of shit. Yeah. Wow. It's good. It's a good story. Mm hmm. Nice. Anyone calls me full of shit, I was like, uh, direct that mail to December 24th, 1996, please. <laughs> Thank you. 199. Did you say 1996? I sure did. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Evan's a baby. Yeah, we've yeah, no, we've yeah, established yeah, this. Don't, young, don't, dude. don't, don't worry. We've established this. I know, but it's just because I mean, ninety-three. Right. That's where it's at. Fuck you, Clint and Ryan. Give me all this shit. They are three and they are five and three years older than me, respectively. <laughs> that is like a stone's throw. <laughs> Kyle, Thanks. obviously, you're in your late forties, so I understand that. <laughs> yeah. but... I mean, you have you have that Discovery Channel show. It's it's great. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't get he, that joke. He looks like Adam Savage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I get Nin the joke. Nineteen eighty-eight. Nineteen eighty-eight. Good year. Yep. Oh, the tire brand. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I mean, no. I get that joke, but what? <laughs> Anti-humor. Anti-humor anti isn't a bad... Isn't just telling a bad joke. That's not... <laughs> that, that should be the uh, the episode title. Anti-humor. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the channel title at this point. You see, that was anti-humor. Yeah, you're right. That should be the episode title. <laughs> I'm sure sooner or later, if we just say that should be the episode title enough, it'll all work out. Or that should be the episode title will be the episode God title. God damn it, Ryan. I was gonna. <laughs> I was already planting the seeds for that, and then you went out and exposed the joke. <laughs> Fuck anti you. Anti humor. Hashtag anti humor. Hashtag first world problems. <laughs> uh... I'm just gonna keep calling out what I think the title will be. Okay. Hashtag at this point. Maybe. Just hashtag. Just hashtag. Or hashtag. Just at that that or God damn it, Ryan. The symbol hashtag and then the word hashtag. Wait, do we already have God damn it, Ryan? What was what was the one? Uh, Ryan is a dipshit. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. That was my favorite one. Yeah, because in the previous episode, I joked that we would name the next episode Ryan is a dipshit and not comment on it the whole time, which we, and did. we didn't successfully. I was getting nervous because I had the idea. I was someone was going to bring up how you were a dipshit, but I dodged that bullet. That was probably the one time in a 30 minute span that I was not a dipshit. That's true. No, you were a dipshit. We just didn't nobody, call you on Nobody it. acknowledged <laughs> it. We just kind of ignored it. What just... the fuck are those? Mining robots? Diggers. Ah, uh, yeah. Those things. I have put in my will that I want um, Human Miracle to be on my tombstone. I sometimes call Ryan a Human Miracle when he does something really stupid. <laughs> so, that's All right. where that comes from. I have, I've actually only done it, like, once, I think. I've called him a miracle before. The human miracle thing, I think, happened once over Facebook. <laughs> but he's really taken to it. I, I really like it. It's both I'm a right. compliment and an insult. No, it's just an insult. No, but to me, yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's an a, insult. <laughs> no, really, Ryan. I, uh, fucking human miracle. <laughs> Alpha Storm! You show him, Ica. Show them, show yeah, these them, guys uh, are a little more powerful. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty tough. Giving me some problems. <laughs> uh, 
You got this. Don't worry. Well, I'm not worried I'm gonna die, Kyle. <laughs> hey, should. man, I'm just trying to be reassuring, that's all. I'll be realistic. Pat should... Patronizing, more like it. Hashtag hey, patronizing. <laughs> Hashtag first world <laughs> problems. Oh, God. What am I even doing? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Real there life. For a second. I'm gonna take a guess that these guys are weak to electricity. Uh, well, if you look when you when you go to uh to attack them, or when you go to select which one you want to attack, yeah. If you see in the right corner there, mm -hmm. it actually shows a color that they're weak. They're oh. that that's their color, and you just want to use obviously the, the color to go against it. Yeah. Yeah. I had this um really confusing moment in Bravely Default where I was on my ship and I was sailing and I got into a random encounter and there were these two blue water snakes okay. and I I didn't want to have to waste the turn to examine what their weakness was so I just assumed hey they're water snakes I'm safe bet lightning mm -hmm. so I, I shot fire. lightning no being water snakes, it was water and earth are their weaknesses. What? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Nope. Well, it's like a robot programmed that video game. Right. <laughs> I was yeah, that was a little intense there, Drachma. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Hey, Drachma does what he needs to do. All right, uh, that's gonna wrap up this episode. I don't know what the name of it is. That that could be the title. I'm Time Captain Evan, joined by Space Quartermaster Ryan. Always a pleasure. And Stowaway Kyle Luck. As always. Jeff. As sometimes. As always on Skies. Uh, sure. J well, we'll see. <gasps> I'd say that's a joke. JRPG is Story of Future Perfect Deactivate. <laughs>